honestly, bro, the value is you and your personality and the fact that you care, okay? And this is a volume game, okay? This, it like, great, quality, quality relationships, care about people, spend time with them, but I promise you, to get to the promised land that you wanna to go to, at some point it has to be about volume, not just quality. Always think long term. You know, like five years, 10 years is gonna go by so fast and it's it's just going to be a blink of an eye and i don't i don't want you to look back with regret or that you missed an opportunity um you know there's the world is moving so fast man like when i was coming up that shit was slow compared to now now is like it's moving at like rocket speed and you know technology and applications and social media and communication and everything is moving so fast you know nfts and crypto and you know the the way that everything is going down you know take a look at like take time for yourself bro to take a step back for a second this is something i never did Take a moment to step back once a week or something and really take like a bird's eye view of the world, okay, and everything that's happening and just think about it for a second and use that information to think about how you can use the opportunities that are here today, right, to really create some massive things for yourself over the next five years, 10 years, and think about where you're gonna be in five years, because it's gonna happen so fast, you know? Um, you, need to, you need to be in a position of power where you're taking advantage of these massive opportunities, right? Yeah. So just yeah. keep your head on straight. What are some things that I can do to provide exponentially more value than anybody else? Like, What do you feel like you do that provides the most value to, to other people in real estate sales? Mm. This is what you have to understand, bro, is that it's not about like the tangible value that you feel like you should have um, to give to people. Okay. Honestly, bro, the value is you and your personality and the fact that you care. Okay. And this is a volume game. Okay, this it like great quality, quality relationships, care about people, spend time with them. But I promise you to get to the promised land that you want to go to at some point, it has to be about volume, not just quality. Right. And so within volume, you look at Walmart, Amazon, Apple, all these companies, they, the, the way that they create wealth is not by quality of transactions, right? Do you have a great experience every time you go to Walmart with a, with a cashier or every time you, every time you buy something from Amazon or, um, every time that you, you, you do a deal with, with Apple, um, no, it's not the quality for them. They're, they are working on volume, little bit on millions of transactions, okay? And so you need to think about how can you balance within your database the quality that they feel like and know that you care about them, but you're still playing the volume game. And that's where my weekly email comes into play because you can send the weekly email and personalize it where you're giving them part of your personality, even though it's on a bulk level and, and, and scale, you know what I mean? And so, yeah. So don't think about how you can bring value because the value is you. What you need to think about are the thousands of conversations you've got to have with people in your market before you get to your goal. That's all you need to be concerned about. You'll figure out the value. You'll figure out who loves the way that you carry yourself and how you operate in the business. You will find a lender that you can't live without. They're gonna do every deal so smooth for you and take care of your clients so well, okay? And you're gonna have that lender in place that you send every single buyer to, all right? right. And then here comes along another, another lender who wants to steal your business, right? Not your business, but steal you away from the other lender. 
and they're going to say, give me a shot. And as good as you think that they might be, you're not going to want to risk your client, your next client on to, to try them out. You're going to go right to that, to the lender that you know, a hundred percent is going to give your customer, your client, the best service. Okay. That's just how it's going to be. And so you, what you got to understand is that you've got, you can create the same effect with your clients. Whereas it's once they do a deal with you and realize how, how great of an agent that you really are, they're never going to risk doing a deal with anybody else because they know over here, there's a guarantee of a, of a great success rate. See what I'm saying? Right. And so it's not a matter of value in terms of what can I give them? What can I do? And tangible wise, it's about the feeling that they get when they talk to you and work with you. That's the value. Everyone's business is like a fingerprint and how you operate is like a fingerprint. No two are alike. They're going to have to feel a connection, a personal connection with that next agent, just as they did you just differently, just a different connection, but the same level of connection, you know? And, um, I mean, one thing that you can do is maybe have a meeting with the clients and the agent, you know, and all sit and talk together or do a three way call or do a zoom or something like that to where you're kind of passing the torch, you know, in the presence of the client, um, you know, and make sure they don't have any concerns or any questions and stuff like that and try to make them feel as comfortable as possible, you know, but they're never going to have the same, they're never going to feel the same as, as if it were you. You know, and that, that's been the big struggle for me. I'm still a single agent, you know, in terms of my, my real estate sales business. And like, I'm still, I'm at the point where I'm like, I need to do a team and just step away from sales. I still can't do it, you know, cause my clients, it's like, I feel like I'm letting them down, you know, because they want me to handle it, you know, and I'm sitting here thinking, but it's Saturday and I got a daughter and I don't have to sell property to pay my bills, you know, but the, but I grew up roofing houses. And so there's that part of my upbringing that says, don't, don't you walk away from money. <laughs> don't you for a second walk away from money. You know, you won't remember, you may remember where you came from throwing away $10,000, $20,000, like it ain't nothing, you know? And so, you know, I, I don't know, man, that that's a difficult question. And there's so many dynamics behind the agents you're passing the clients to and how they communicate and, you know, what their real intentions are, you know, are they going to put their clients needs ahead of their own? You know, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on there, you know, but Hopefully this helps you a little bit and, you know, just, I, I would try to set up a call with everyone and just to try to pass the torch in the presence of, and, you know, make sure they feel comfortable about it. You know, honestly, bro, you know, as you build your team and, you know, deal with people and see how those stories play out as you bring people onto the team and how they operate. And if they quit, um, you'll start to, you know, you'll start to have a, a nose for, for recognizing talent uh, a little better, but it's tough in real estate because a long time ago I quit trying to identify who I thought was going to be a superstar and who I thought was going to be a loser because the people I thought were a lot of the people I thought were going to be losers ended up being big winners. I'm talking big, big winners. And some of the people I thought were going to be huge winners were complete losers. And it's still true today. Like I, I still just, you know, I've seen the story play so many times. I'm just, I keep an arm's length from, you know, trying to categorize them as a winner or a loser from the beginning. And I just let the story play out. I never know. So to answer your question, how do you motivate, you know, your team and stuff like that? So, you know, there's, there's the part where you can't really identify who's going to be a winner or loser until they actually get in the game and play the game for a good year. Cause they could come in and sell some stuff quick and then crash and burn, or they could not sell anything for six months and then be the biggest producer you've ever seen. Um, so you just never know, but how they handle the losses 
is gonna show you a lot about who they are, but in terms of motivating them, bro, listen, if you need to be motivated, that's a red flag right there. 